To be sure, Gutenberg has some very special ways of handling images. And one thing I want to show you is how to wrap text around an image. This is a very popular layout technique. You've seen it all the time. And how do you do this? So I think there's probably a couple ways to do it, but here's the way that I found works best. I think of first the image. So here's my inserter right down here. I'm going to put in, and I'm going to click on the inserter, and this time I'm going to look for, over here in blocks, I'm going to look for image. Okay, and that lets me insert an image. And you can see over here, well, I'm going to click on Media Library. Well, this looks familiar. Let's see if I have any media. I sure do. I happen to have the image that I want to use. I'm going to click on this. Normally, I would fill out the alternative text, the alt text. I'm going to save a little time and not do it. I would have said something like, beautiful Texas morning landscape, but I'm going to save some time. So I am going to select this image. And you can see, well, this is kind of on the large size. So one thing that's nice is you have these little options here to, oh, I guess little handlebars, if you will, that allows you to resize the image. I would never try to make the image larger for various reasons, but I think if you make it smaller, that's going to be pretty good. So I just arbitrarily picked that. Notice you have a different set of toolbars here than you would if you had had a text block. Speaking of text blocks, I want to add a text block. So now I could do that just by clicking on inserter. Let's just do that over here. And I'm going to add a paragraph text block. So you'll see it's right below the image and that's fine. And I have the lorem text on my clipboard already. So I'm just going to do command V and here's the text. But I want the text to wrap on the right side of the image. So what do I do? I go back to my image. I'm going to select it, and you can see the little diagram here. The image is on the left-hand side, so if I click on that, voila, I have what I want. Now, I might want to resize the image, so I could do that. I could make the image a little smaller. I could make it a little bit bigger. I wonder if I can move this up a little bit. I don't think I can do that. Let's just try it. No, that's not going to work, but that's okay. So we've got this. If I wanted to make the image on the right-hand side, just click it over here. I think this looks a little better on the left-hand side, so I'm going to do that. And if I wanted to edit the image, I could click on this. So uh, those things look a little familiar based on how the WordPress editor works now. So that's how you would do this. And let's just take a look by going over here to Preview. One of the things about Gutenberg is it's supposed to give us an experience of how the page is going to look before we actually look at it. Well, that's debatable. But this gives you the idea of the text wrapping on the right side of the image, which is exactly what I want.